Hey everybody, I'm Chase with Advantage One RV here in Coldwater. Today we have a 2015 Kodiak 291 RESL coming in at just under 7,000 pounds. Uh, this this trailer, um, I'll tell you, it's pretty decent shape, really. I mean, it's it's uh, had some work done to it by uh, the folks down at Bishes. Uh, before it came to us the folks that are selling this one to make sure that this thing was in tip shop shape And as you can see on that front wall, there's no decals on there. Well, there's a good reason for that there was a, a leak that had uh, formed up on the roof and so uh, obviously we know water travels and Came down that front panel and got into the roof a little bit But the actually the roof and the front wall has been replaced on this uh, by Bishes uh, here recently so uh, just keeping everything completely transparent with you uh, this trailer does um, does have a weight distribution set up with it um, that is going along with the trailer uh, and as you can see we have all the stuff that's in there uh, hitch all the way there across the you know plus a couple other goodies in here with some hoses and whatnot and um, this one i did notice it does have 20 pound tanks rather than the 30 pound tanks um, which is obviously not a big deal at all. They're two very uh, well capable of uh, doing everything they need to do with, their, uh, with your LP system. Um, looking around this trailer, I tell you, it's you know a little bit of DLAM up there above the uh, slide out. Um, I don't think it's honestly too much of an issue. I think that was just part of uh, where that uh, original issue was with the um, work that's already been performed on it. Um, looking underneath and under, uh, the slide outs I'll tell you, the slide outs those all look really good um, No uh, rotting under underneath or anything like that. That's all really nice and solid under there uh, No worries there, so um, A little bit of chalkiness on the side here not a big issue. I think this is probably just something that sat over on the uh, you know on the uh, um, seasonal spot and that's obviously where most of the sun was sitting because uh, this did come off of a seasonal lot that the folks had it on. Um, and as you can see, a little bit more, well, kind of hard to see with this glare I've got coming through my window, but a little bit more chalky. There. And, you know, and that's the thing about that is you could put a nice wax on it and it would probably bring that right back to life just because when I rub my hand on it, that chalkiness comes right off so I think a good uh, waxing on this would would definitely serve uh, some good just kind of showing you all around it does come with the RVQ grill on the back here with the RVQ grill mount um, once again looking underneath on these slide outs everything is super solid everything's really 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 solid underneath on the on the slide out floors which that's always Obviously something you always want to check for is um, the bottom side of the slide outs. A lot of people don't know to check there. Obviously I used to run our, our service department when we had Haywood RV and that was always a, an area that um, got missed it seemed like a lot of the time. You just don't think to, to look underneath these spots so you know when you're looking and you know you're in the market of, of buying this trailer or whatever trailer um, make sure you're checking underneath those slide outs to make sure that they don't have any uh, rotting going on underneath there because that's a lot of the times where it happens. So coming in through our door here, um, you know, this is an awesome layout as far as, you know, for a couple's camper. Um, you got a nice dinette here that goes down into a bed in case if you did have somebody else come with you. But there is quite a bit of floor space back here um, and I'm going to make my way to in the back here to where, I mean, you could put a put a uh, blow up mattress in there the covers off right now we've been going through and testing this trailer out and everything seems to be working just fine there is um, a sail switch that needs to be replaced on the uh, um, furnace right now that's that's an easy fix the technicians on at Bishes will be back down here shortly get that replaced for us so so we got that up and going no issues no issues found um, but I can tell, uh, especially on the inside of this thing, um, these folks have, have really taken care of uh, this and, and kept it clean. Um, it is uh, it is nice coming into a trailer where it doesn't smack you in the face with 
uh, you know, a black tank uh, that didn't get uh, emptied before it was brought to me, because <laughs> we've definitely been there before. <laughs> um, so making our way through here, um, I was just showing you the kitchen, obviously. Uh, one thing about the nice uh, the kitchen is there is some nice drawer space, uh, nice big deep drawers too for the pots and pans and whatnot. Um, underneath the the stove, which obviously it does have a, a regular oven as well. Um, sometimes that's you know pretty important to um, some folks that like to do some baking and stuff while they're doing some camping. Um, but as you can see, like I said, the slide out comes in. It comes right in uh, flush to this uh, L-shaped counter here. Um, but one thing I really like about this in here is the the colors. Um, they did a really nice job of of mixing some colors around in here um, with your lighter um, your lighter tones in your um, furniture, and then you know accented by some nice darker tones with uh, some of the woodwork in here. Um, so it kind of breaks it up, you know, which is nice. Um, and we'll make our way up here to the front of the trailer and I'll show you uh, what the bedroom situation is like up here um, as we move into the I guess I, I should have turned some lights on around here before I started this video I thought everything was on already in here so my apologies we're gonna kick some lights on and uh, show you a little bit better um, this is a queen size bed um, RV size uh, queen does have all the um, it does have some nice storage underneath here um, but it does have all the original bed coverings which is nice and it looks like they added a couple of other pieces but you got the obviously you got the wardrobes here next to the bed nice um, you know with the hang up rod in there for your clothes and whatnot we have uh, storage up here above the bed which is nice they really seem to uh, Check some boxes in this Kodiak. Um, and like I said, you know, for 2015, I, I think this is a, a very well uh, kept trailer. Uh, like I said, with all the improvements and stuff that, or I shouldn't say improvements, but with the repairs that they made, um, you know, just the, those kinds of signs just really show me that they that they take care of their trailer, in which you can see RV antifreeze in the toilet which means it is RV winterized. Um, that was actually done by Bishes. Uh, and actually, the point of this um, skylight right there, that's where the, I think the void was in the sealant up on the roof. Um, and that's why they had to replace the, the roof. But I'll tell you, they did a good job uh, because walking through this thing, you would never know um, that, that this roof has been replaced or that the front cap has been replaced. So, once again, we're just completely transparent with everybody. That's how we do things. That's how we'll always do things. So, obviously, talking about all of the uh, repair work, I figured I should get up here and show you exactly. You can see all the footprints because, obviously, the technicians are up here walking around getting it all sealed up. All the seals are absolutely brand new. Uh, around every vent, I've been up here, checked it all out. It looks great. Um, but I just... Felt like it would be important to show everybody up here exactly, you know, what I was seeing and why I thought Bishes did such a great job of, um, you know, putting this trailer back together because um, you would think it's factory as, as good of a job that they did. Uh, so, once again, everybody, if you have any questions, 517-924-1850. I'm Chase with Advantage One RV here in Coldwater. 517-924-1850-2015 Kodiak 291 couples camper. This thing's in really good shape now. Take care. Have a great day. Now I got to get off of this, this roof. So I hope you guys, uh, I'm going to go ahead and let the camera just roll right now in case if I fall because I'm the only one out here right now. And... I'm telling you, these, these heights have these steps and, oh, okay, yeah, oh, we're good, we're good, we're good, yep, okay, we're good, we're good, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna make it, I think I'm gonna make it, I think I'm gonna make it, yep, yep, oh, oh, yep, okay, we're good, we're good, yep, 
Thank you, Later, for not following.